likely heard the name Leslie Hampton before, and you may remember seeing her on our show earlier this year. She is a powerhouse designer who creates beautiful, inclusive, body-positive fashions. And she's here with a collection that draws on her indigenous roots and doesn't shy away from making a statement. Leslie, I love when you join us on the show. Let's talk about your first look. I love them all because they're all making a statement, but they're all very, very stylish. Uh, what's the first look you want to show us? Yeah, so our first look uh, is the wool jacket dress from our Fall Winter 20 collection. Um, and for this collection as a whole, I really wanted to reclaim my, uh, my identity and reclaim the fabrics that are used in this collection. So for this piece, we're reclaiming a blanket weight wool that uh, has an unspoken history in Canada. And I wanted to redefine that uh, and reclaim that for myself. Um, I think this dress is, uh, it's, a, it's a jacket dress, so it can be worn um, in an evening any evening this season, uh, worn zipped up as a dress or open uh, for layering as a jacket. I love the fact that if people are looking for fashion that says a little bit more than, hey, I look good, they can find that with your looks. Now, you're letting your, next, uh, your next outfit is very good if you're looking for something polished, right? Exactly. So this next look uh, is a comfy, comfy transition away from the work from home outfit that we've all grown kind of so used to. Um, it's a T-length uh, pleated skirt. Um, and it's really comfortable and free-flowing, and you can have a casual look with this uh, with some sneakers uh, or flats, um, or you can dress it up with some pumps and a blazer. So it's really versatile. Now, your next look is a uh, T-shirt. Tell us a little bit about the story behind this one and the message behind this one. Yes, yeah, so this T-shirt is our face crop. Um, it's our exploration into athleisure wear, um, and it actually features a self-portrait I took of myself um, from a younger age. Um, and it's really my growth into discovering my indigeneity and uh, navigating my self-representation. Um, and I know that I'm strong and confident uh, indigenous woman and it doesn't matter if I have my hair in braids like uh, the self-portrait or I have my hair in bangs and, and a more contemporary look. I am indigenous and I am strong. And has there been a big evolution from when you were younger to now? Absolutely. Uh, growing up, I, I didn't grow up in community or culture. Uh, I grew up internationally. So coming back to Canada and learning what it meant to be an Indigenous woman um, during this time is, is so, so exciting for me because I can define my own Indigeneity, define exactly who I am, and hopefully within the process, uh, inspire other Indigenous youth who might be lost or confused with their identity um, and inspire them through fashion. Okay, your next look is uh, athleisure with a bit of a twist. So tell us a bit more about this one. It is a bodysuit and track pants set. Uh, the bodysuit features the phrase, the si n'est pas un sauvage, which translates uh, to, this is not a savage. And it's in relation to the derogatory use of the word sauvage uh, in media and advertising. And it's very much the misuse of the word, um, even from a young age of mine hearing that over and over again in movies like Pocahontas and sharing the fact that it is a derogatory word and should never be used in relation to Indigenous people. Listen, your uh, leggings, bodysuits, all of the workout gear you have, uh, the robust uh, sports bra, which is my absolute favorite sports bra, all of this comes in these big, bold, bright colors and it all comes in plus sizes. What's the statement you're, you're making there? Yeah, so being a curvy person myself, I want to see myself in fashion. I want to see myself in high fashion and athletic wear. Um, I don't want to be walking into a store or going online and being forced to squeeze in to a size 10 because that's all they have. I really want everyone to be included in my brand and together we can thrive. Um, so our collections uh, range from an extra small, often up into a 4XL um, so that we can include as many people as possible in this change that we're that we're creating within fashion. We love to see it. Thank you, Leslie, for sharing those gorgeous pieces that represent so much more than just clothing. Keep going, girl.